It's a decent site, but we'll have to cut down the forest to clear the space for the power plant. Driver, let's go. <laughs> Madam teacher, are these your students? They should learn to do what they are told. Isn't it your job to teach these kids respect? What you're talking about is obedience, sir. And that's different from respect. Respect goes two ways. They've listened to you and respectfully done what you asked. But now, it's your turn to respect and listen to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm listening. Coal-fired power plants are contributing to climate change, sir. And cutting down the forest will only make it worse, sir. We've got to respect the earth. Oh, it is no disrespect, kids. It's just business. The power plant will make lots of money and bring tons of cheap power to the whole region. And there is nothing that people respect more than money and power. Well, I've listened to you. And now, time to go. But that's not How can enough. you just build How the, power, just plant build the power plant It's causing droughts and floods. Flood. On second thought, I don't think I'll select this village for my business. I want to go somewhere that they'll show me more respect. That's what we thought. We did, we did it. it! He's, He's leaving! leaving. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe we actually did it! We got him to leave and build his power plant somewhere else. My baby was really angry. She said I was disrespectful and disobedient. She says she's so embarrassed that the neighbors will say she's raised a disrespectful granddaughter. Well, I don't think that Shiko's acting with respect at all. Are you still Shiko's number one fan now, Kolbat? Actually, I realized that we didn't fix the problem by getting him to leave. He would just have gone and built his power plant somewhere else, and it would still release carbon emissions and impact the climate. It doesn't matter where the power plant is. What have you done, Koba? I convinced Shiko to stay. No! Teacher Molota, can you go see Shiko again? I think these guys might be surprised by what they find. We have to finish our lessons, but I'll take you there after school. We can plant them here. Hundreds of millions of shilling. Now that's good business. How can you... You'll make a good businessman someday, kid. You are right. We can plant trees here to cover the whole area and extend the forest. And we can get people from around the world to pay us to do it, since we'll be capturing the carbon they're releasing into the atmosphere and store it back in the ground. It's called... What is it called again? Carbon credits. The new forest will also provide more habitat for the animals. Thank you, Mr. Shiko. We may disagree with you about the reasons why you're planting trees, Mr. Shiko, but we support your decision and respect you for it. If we all agree that this is the right thing to do, let's start now. I want to do everything I can to fight climate change so my friends can have a better future, not one filled with floods and fear. So, I guess Shiko's not so bad after all. Yeah, so you still want to be like him, Koba? I still want to be a successful businessman, but I think I have a new idea of what success looks like. I realize that having big cars and lots of money isn't what earns respect. It's the impact you make in the world and what you do to help other people. Never miss out on new Ubalmo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubalmo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubalmo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubalmo Kids family.